when we pick up in season two, what can you say? First of all, do you, they call him Jeremy or Henry in the scripts at this point? Henry. Okay. So what can you say about where Henry actually is? Having created absolute havoc at the end of season one, it's a really poor decision to know decision for the writers to know how to reset something that big. So we, we've thought long and hard about this and we've changed our mind a few times as well. We will, I think now we'll take a, a slight time today. The time we find Henry Gibbs established himself in the town and he's become a lawyer, a respectable person around town, and obviously a very good lawyer because he's a, he's a warlock. Yeah. That's how he got to be a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Read a few books and said, there I go. Off his degrees. It's it's a much easier process in Sleepy Hollow for Henry than most lawyers have to go oh through. Oh my lord, yes. He's also pretty smart, so he's just and he anyone that doesn't agree with him will sort him out. Yeah. That you may wonder why he does that, and that will be the course of it. But also we, we do we have to resurrect our heroes yeah. from their various places. And each of those is a is a story within itself. But but really you can't link it too long on it. I mean, it's kind of taken for granted that our heroes will be there. Right. Rather than having to reinvent the wheel. The, what Henry does is uses his position to create doubt in everyone's mind. He, all of the things that we take as we give and we take them by our friends. Believe in a set of rules of society that they'll be solid, that the government will be sound, that the religious faith, all these things will be sound. Henry, the roads getting away, creates distrust, this destabilizes everything for a very good purpose, which will be revealed in season two. So he's quite destructive in that sense, and even has other people distrusting each other. Does he have any regrets about his actions in season one? Because he did get to know these people, he did get to I think that's, you know, and, and I don't know the answer to this, but my sense would be whatever human is left in that man needs to be mined. And I think the readers might need to mind that, the writers need to mind that. I don't think it's satisfactory that he he would finish his time on Sleepy Hollow as this horrible man who hated his mother and father and tried to kill him. Right. That's much fun. Well, I mean, you've had experience, because obviously on Fringe, as Jeff and Joel had pointed out, if we had been introduced to Walter via the Peter episode, he would have been the villain of the story, but instead we spent a bunch of time getting to know him, and in Sleepy Hollow it was the same way. I think people kind of became enamored with the char character, yeah. and then well, had... That, that, you know, the fact that that character is there means that he's still there somewhere, and he, he, it's part of his persona. Yeah. And it was also such fun to play. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping, and I don't know myself, but I'm hoping that we will see... Well, I know we'll see the regrets. Yeah. Just little moments. It's a, like in the first season, you'll see a moment of something, and then it'll go again. We, we're doing that. Yeah. I don't, but I seriously don't know... And I think it's still open as to how you... I mean, someone's got to die here. I mean, at some point, though, even on Sleepy Hollow, death really doesn't mean too much. Because look what they did with John Cho in season oh, one. Yes. He died in the pilot, and he was in a good People portion of the... People liked him, so they yeah. him back. Yeah, exactly. Well, since he did alienate a lot of people around him in season one, what can you say about who you've been sharing scenes with in season two? Well, certainly not with uh, Tom and, uh, and uh, Nicole yeah. yet. And we've... We were all sort of hanging out for that a bit. I had one brief scene with Tom and, and waved Nicole across the road. And but, uh, uh, all of us are saying, well, hang on, what, what happened here? But building the tension there. I do have something major coming up with Tom next week. Um, and I know Nicole's looking forward to some stuff. So, so, so am I. Yeah. I mean, is that a hard adjustment for you because you spent so much of your time in season one with these two and you're now with the whole, I imagine you're not just by yourself, but you're it, with other it's people? Different. It's different because I don't have the emotional connection, the character doesn't have the emotional connection. So what he's doing is he's, he's with all these other characters, he's a manipulator. There is no part to it. Yeah.